I've heard you recently say we should use focusing with all other methods, yes. body work and psychotherapy, yes. but not to use focusing alone. Yes. And I like focusing alone. <laughs> In addition to all the other things, to the other modalities. So could you just speak a little more about what you mean there? <laughs> Well, I say this to my own group, so I'm, when I say don't do focusing, then I always wait a little bit, and then I say alone. Uh, so I don't mind doing focusing alone. It's just that in your life, I hope you don't do only focusing. There is a tendency that comes with focusing, which, which I don't like at all. There's a tendency that comes with focusing to go to where you feel better, or whatever you call that, to go to your spacious space, to go to somewhere, and then you say, oh, OK, now I'm all right. And there's a tendency not to take the action, not to make the phone call, not to confront the person, not to go for interaction, not to move your body. Uh, all these other things, because now you're OK. And that's not a very good thing that happens there. And I've always been looking for years, how can we have seven steps? How can we have an action step? It ought to be that you lead directly to action from the fact that now you're freed up to do it. And of course, there's a little key there, because now that you're freed up to do it, you may still need another whole focusing space, focusing process, to find out how you're going to do it. There's probably a very thick reason why you're not taking the action. And oh, it's got these different strands, and oh, there's a little step here, and there's nothing there. And, well, the same thing happens with action difficulties. So if you don't allow for that, for that stretching out, of how you're going to do it, you, you may never do it. And I don't like that. So, and that's only one other dimension. And the same thing is true with moving your body around, and the same thing is true with doing your focusing in interaction. And I like to, to tell that I have a very careful research with an N of 5,000. And hardly anybody in psychology has such a big N, you know, where they ran the, the experiment 5,000 times. And it comes in, in, in the, the uh, reliability of it is point, I don't know how many zeros. Uh, I test the same subject on the same day, under the same circumstances, the same temperature, the same moisture, the same diet. Everything is controlled. The only difference is I focus by myself, and then I get with, with a partner. And I go deeper with my partner. And who's the subject? It's me, of course. Who else would put up with 5,000 times? <laughs> <laughs> so just because focusing works by yourself, that doesn't mean that you wouldn't go deeper and different if you do it in interaction. And sometimes the interaction can be with a person who doesn't add anything. They're just there. Sometimes they add something, and that's crucial. And so that's talking now about what? About action and about interaction with somebody, a partner, and, uh, and about uh, moving your body around. And then there's a, uh, the, uh, there are other dimensions like that. Don't do without those. That's what I mean. <laughs>